Vampires' obsession with necks? Definitely not healthy, at least not for the victims. But your doctor may see it differently, because the size of your neck could actually reveal a lot about your health. That's right, your collar might hold biting evidence about the health of your heart and metabolism. For years, waist circumference has been a go-to measurement for fat distribution, especially belly fat linked to heart disease and diabetes. But it's not perfect. Posture, meals, and even breathing can throw it off. That's why researchers are looking a little higher up at neck circumference as a simple, more stable indicator of upper body fat and metabolic risk. And here's what they found over the past few years. Larger necks correlate with higher blood pressure and fasting glucose, even after adjusting for BMI. They're linked to greater odds of obesity, higher triglycerides, and insulin resistance, even when waist circumference is in the normal range. And in some studies, neck circumference predicts metabolic syndrome as accurately or even better than waist circumference. Now, waist size captures visceral fat, that deep abdominal fat wrapped around your organs that drives inflammation and heart disease. But neck circumference seems to reflect upper body fat as well as airway fat, which not only affects metabolism but sleep apnea, also linked to heart disease. In short, your neck offers a complimentary view or another window into cardiometabolic risk that's simple, stable, and surprisingly revealing. For men, a neck size over 17 inches and for women over 14 inches can raise the risk even if the waist is fine. Plus, large necks make an easy target for vampires. So if your number's too high, don't reach for garlic in a wooden steak, but turn to cardio strength training and better sleep, which, like sunlight to a vampire, can bring those numbers down. In the science of health, sometimes the most overlooked measurements are right under your nose, literally. As always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.